and we're back making videos again. We have Gilbert's slanted sled right here. We're gonna rebuild this engine and go from there. So, give you kind of an overview of this thing. So, this is uh, as original as it gets. Um, he shipped this thing in from Texas about seven months ago. Then I had life happen. No name nationals, so yeah, it is what it is. And it's a it's a pretty nice deal, you know, convertible top. You know, push button. I believe it's a 63 dart. So um, he says this one's 60 over already. I've got a block in here that I know standard. But uh, before, especially a car you don't know, I'm going to go over some particulars. I drove it around the block just a few minutes ago. I'm going to get it hot. And then we're going to do, make sure it's got full throttle. We're going to do a uh, timing check on it. You're going to see all that in this video. And then we're going to do a compression test on it. Check valves. Before we do any of that, take it apart stuff. We're going to do just some basics. So we can kind of get an understanding of where it is. Why does it run like it does? I mean, it runs pretty smooth. It just, it's just anemic. And, and it seems like it's tuned okay. But we're going to just check some stuff. So we're going to get into it. All right, first thing I'm going to check to see if it's got full throttle because um, it just seems really anemic. So uh, push it down to the ground. Mm, it's got full throttle. Let up. One more time, all the way to the ground. Yeah, it's got full throttle. Let up. So then uh, I'm going to start doing a, a compression test on it and see where we're at from there. All right, moving on. And of course, like usual, the second I start filming, the guy with the gas-powered blower is going. So, we're going to check timing. It's got some marks down there. I'm not sure how accurate they are, but it is what it is. So, fire this bad boy up. So we know we got full throttle. But looking down there, you can see that that thing's way off. So. Oh, 18.7. Yeah, that's a lot of initial. That's a lot. That's a shit ton of initial. All right, so I rubbed it up. 41.6 degrees of initial, uh, of total timing. That's a lot. And uh, I don't see any vacuum advance on this thing. I don't see any hoses coming over. So, and I believe it's a point, but we're gonna definitely put an ATI on this thing. And so, uh, it's getting up to temperature right now. And then we're gonna do a compression test on it, and that'll give us the state of where this engine's at. Alrighty, moving on. This is why I always do an evaluation. As I was taking off these, I noticed that it was rotating rather easy. I haven't even put a tool on this thing yet, but look at how spin right out and so then I came over here and checked this one too same thing then I checked this one same thing then I came over here and checked this one that one's a that was a little tighter but still I can still spin it I checked this one same thing I want to make sure I'm not gonna arc anything here I checked this one same thing so, I'm going to pull these plugs out here, see what we get, pull this one out, and then um, I'm going to do a compression test, and I might just tune this sucker up and see if we can get this thing to run just a little better. I mean, it could be that it's problems that he thinks he needs rebuilt, just because it's running like ass, because it's just not right. Let's see here. And... It's a little wet, a little fouled. It's not too terrible. Ooh, they're hot. They're hot. It's Bernie Hand. Yeah, it's, it looks like it's running decent. <laughs> He's running a champion. Crap. Crap. So I'm going to check these out. I'm going to put these out here. I'm going to number them out. We're going to take a look at them. And then... Um, 
We're going to do a compression test on this, and maybe I'll just tune this thing up and see if I can get it running correctly. Uh, I'll take the valve cover off. I'll check the valves, and maybe we'll go from there. I don't know. We'll see. Well, cylinder number one was pretty good. I got 165 out of it, so we're going to videotape this. Let's see what we get. <laughs> Hundred and sixty five also. I don't think this thing's messed up, man. Hundred and sixty five is decent. That's a decent amount. I think uh I think we might have a tune up issue here. I'm gonna keep moving down. Plus it's got a massive oil leak coming from somewhere over here. Massive, like just pouring out oil. So I don't know, I'm gonna take a look. Keep on moving. Here's a little tech tip when you're doing one of these. Whenever you're doing compression tests, you want the thing full throttle. It's really easy. Just take the spring that comes off of this, flip it to this side, and it holds it wide open. It's a nice little tech tip right there, so that way you don't have to sit there and hold it wide open. Little 20 seconds of fun. Yeah! That's, that's the oil leak it has just from sitting here. So then I looked underneath, and it's definitely coming from right there. That is... The fuel pump then I see this little tag here and the tag says on it the bores are 60 over rods are 10 oh, there we go can you see there and it was rebuilt in 513 of 1987 so Valley Automotive Machine uh, Valley Automotive Machine yep company so there you go so I just checked all the valves they're hot but it was Dead across the board, the same. Uh, 11 on the intake, 22 on the exhaust. So I checked all these. So 165, 65, 65, 70, 60, 60. Timing was a little high. Um, it obviously, it's got a massive oil leak. I don't know about the carburetor or anything like that. And the, the fuel looks a little funky. But, I mean, I don't think it needs to be rebuilt. It's my guess. I'm, I'm going to call him up and tell him, you know, may, let me see if I can try to tune this thing up and, and I want to see what he wants to do. If he wants me to pull it out and change the cam, do all this stuff, hey, I'll do that. Um, I personally like the Holly carburetor over those, but uh, it's just my opinion. But I could put one on there and or even change the, you know, carburetion for him or change the intake and exhaust and change the camshaft, whatever. But as it stands right now, uh, I, I really wouldn't do much to it. it. It looks like it's in decent condition. I mean, there's not a lot of oil coming up here. That's why I like my oil modifications. But, you know, I don't think there's any... I, did, I couldn't feel any ridge inside there like it has channeled the groove. And the valves look really clean up in there. So it's, it's, it's like it had a decent valve job at one time. Maybe even hardened seats put into it. So I'm... Still not convinced. I don't I don't think it needs an engine rebuild. I think it just needs some TLC. It's just my opinion. To be real, I mean, it, they don't look too bad. I mean, it's got a decent range on them, heat range. And like the, you know, they, they got to take these washers off on these things. And it's got oil leaks everywhere. But, all right. We'll, uh, I'll call him and, uh, we'll, we'll go with an update from there. All right, man.